Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the show. My guest today is Justin Bannon. He is the CEO and co-founder of Bolson Protocol. Justin, welcome to the show. Thanks, Jason. It's a pleasure to be here. So I NFTs are blowing up right now. The market's going crazy. And Bolson Protocol is jumping into the ring. And I wanted to ask you first, before we get started, um, how did you get into uh, blockchain technology? Sure. Um, <clears throat> So, I mean, I got into blockchain really through my, my interest in, in, in business models. Um, I mean, I started out studying a physics degree and um, I, then, I then did a master's in like digital business and I got really hooked on this whole concept of like business models and platforms and network effects and that, and that they were kind of like the physics of, of, of business, right? These kind of value flows and feedback loops and stuff. Um, and so, yeah, I got really, got really into platforms, business models. I, I actually uh, run a, a, a platform, a, a sort of a digital voucher platform that I, I uh, kind of built from about 50 million to about a billion dollar turnover. Um, and then I did a, you know, still obsessed with this whole physics of business, really. Um, I, I then did a, a master's in blockchain and realized that kind of blockchain and tokens really supercharges um, business models gives you these whole new set of, of tools. It's like a, you know, I think of it a bit like Meccano releasing a nuclear fusion kit. Um, that's the, the sort of power of tokens and decentralized business models. Nice, nice. So tell us about Bozen Protocol. Um, it's an e-commerce, it's looking to disrupt e-commerce, but it's also a smart contract platform. Is that correct? Correct. Yes. Um, so, Boson Protocol um, is a foundational um, primitive or, or, or protocol for enabling um, for enabling two parties to exchange without the need for a centralized intermediary. So, I, you know, I think um, if you if you look at the role of platforms in in modern business, where they bring together buyers and sellers and mediate transactions and kind of coordinate that. Um, Boson seeks to do that without the need of a centralized intermediary, and um, and and it does that using a, a a piece of game theory that takes deposits from a buyer and a seller, um, and has a game that incentivizes the buyer and seller to behave honestly. Um, and the reason that you know that's that's so so important is not just because you know intermediaries add a lot of a, a lot of sort of friction, but what we've seen is that centralized intermediaries really hold hostage buyer and the seller and use their market power to extract outsized profits okay so and that's what you mean when you say um contract smart contracts to trade physical assets without human intervention it's basically cutting out the middleman it's cutting it's cutting out the middleman by having a piece of game theory uh encoded into smart contracts actually encoded into nfts uh, which is like non-fungible tokens is this a huge craze for at the moment, but yeah, we've been using them for a while. Um, so encoding NFTs with with uh, a set of a game with a set of rules um, that governs the payment of uh, you know the, the transfer of a payment amount and also the release of of deposits on behalf of the buyer and seller to incentivize good behavior. And is that the um, main issue that you're currently seeing with the um, marketplace right now? Is that you know, you're seeing these intermediaries not acting as good actors sometimes? Yeah, I mean, that is one of the major, major problems with the whole, um, the whole kind of Web2 platform paradigm. And, um, you know, I, I studied this and, and, and built a platform. And in the early days, platforms were they was kind of presented and sold as a, a way uh, you know, of, of a fairer way of doing business, a way that put, you know, buyers and sellers together and sort of automated it using, using software. And it was supposed to be this whole sharing economy and all of that good stuff, but it didn't play out like that. What happened is that the platforms, because of their position of being able to control the whole, you know, transaction, uh, just found themselves with this huge amount of market power and and uh, and as you know being 
um, sort of centralized businesses have this kind of imperative to extract maximum value. And that's what that's what we're seeing, um, you know, all across Web2, where we have, uh, you know, Amazons, Alibaba, you know, even eBay, etc. All of them extracting, you know, using their dominant market position to basically extract from all participants in, in, a, in a kind of an unfair way. And do you see Bozen uh, protocol being the a solution to this issue? And mm. and I guess it's a question of Web 2.0 versus Web 3.0 because in Web 3.0, we're trying to get rid of that problem altogether. But how are how do you feel Bozen is carving out its own niche mm. and fixing that issue? Sure. So we are creating a p a piece of technology infrastructure that enables um marketplaces or businesses or buyers and sellers to transact in a way that is provably fair and is resistant to capture by centralized intermediaries so the you know the reason we use blockchain and 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 and, uh, and a kind of governance mechanism is so that the participants can see that we can't be evil we we are we are you know we we, we are resistant to this is this sort of extraction in a way that that centralized um, intermediaries can't be. Excellent, excellent. So, what do you see as coming next for uh, Bozen? Like, what's on the horizon? <clears throat> sure. So, I mean, we have a we've just had a, a you know a very successful public sale, which means that we are able to sort of parallelize a lot of our development plans across multiple product teams. Um, so our first um, release will be um, a product called Metamol, which essentially will enable, we, we will be creating a, um, a, a store in a, in a virtual world um, where users will be, will be able to go and buy an NFT, which is essentially like an NFT like voucher, which they can buy in world and then go and redeem that in store. So, you know, you could, you, you, maybe you can go and buy a pair of sneakers, you know, or a, a, like a, a, an NFT for a pair of sneakers in store and then take uh, in world and then take that, take that in store. And so, you know, the, this, um, the, this store we see as a, a you know, like the, the seers of the metaverse, uh, you, you could think of it. So that's, that's our, that's our, our first product. We're also then, um, developing um, and a product for NFT art to enable the decentralized delivery of a physical twin of an NFT art play piece. Um, also working with a number of, of gaming companies um, and um, the Blockchain Gaming Alliance to develop um, the ability for players to buy an in-game item as an NFT that's redeemable in the real world. Uh, so, you know, you, you, you could earn or buy something in game and it could get you to see a baseball game or it could get you to go and get, a you know, you, you know, an experience or to go and buy, you know, to actually receive some, you know, kind of unique or valuable product. Um, and then we have a, um, a, a another product that we're developing, which is like a crypto native rewards program. So all of these kind of exchanges, crypto credit cards, etc will be able to um, reward uh, their customers with real world items delivered via NFTs or ERC-20s that can be transferred using standard crypto infrastructure. And then all the way to building out all of the components for a whole kind of e-commerce stack. So we're, we're doing uh, sort of collaborations with like the token engineering community, Gitcoin, where, uh, where we're doing a, a whole research track to fuse e-commerce developers with like Web3 token engineers and, and technology people to discover, develop and solve some of the hard problems in e-commerce. We will bounty some of those problems and for, you know, for, for the most promising ones, we will fund them um, and put them through a, a track on the Outlier Ventures Basecamp Accelerator, so like a e-commerce track. So yeah, I mean, our whole play is a is a, is an ecosystem play, um, and 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 so that's our that's our long term plan. All right. Well, Justin, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Everyone, we're going to link Bozen Protocols just 
their website, their Twitter, the Telegram, the Medium, and their YouTube channel in the description below so you can learn more. And if you'd like to go to the Bolson Protocol website, it's bosonprotocol.io, which we'll put in the description below as well. Justin, thank you again for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Thank you.